Another way of collecting data is using statistical reports. So a statistic is a value derived or coming from a sample. And a sample is part of a population. So not you're not taking into account every single person, you're just taking a sample, a smaller group, often quite small, and you are getting some value from this. Maybe the average income, maybe the average age, some value derived coming from the smaller group of people. Okay, so um, using that for a de definition, so a statistical report is presenting information found from sampling part of a population. So it's got some information from a sample and often these reports are presented by government departments and also charities quite often as well. Charities not being part of a government, but usually you think of them as being quite neutral. So and a similar point here, usually we assume a department of a government to be quite reliable, you know, they're meant to be quite trustworthy and valid and unbiased and so on. Uh, these three words being characteristics we'll look at in LO4. Um, and also, I mean, a charity is usually quite neutral, right? Usually they're quite honest, but I mean, a charity's purpose is to fundraise, to try and get more money. So sometimes a report from a charity might be leaving off other information might be quite biased potentially but we'd assume a government department wouldn't be but that's not always the case so an example of a real life statistical report is the census so the census being the kind of biggest national statistic i suppose so this office for national statistics is a department whose whole job is really to produce these reports so the census is taken once every 10 years and it's got loads of stats on various aspects of our population. So actually here the sample is pretty much the entire population. Other reports won't be because the census is very, very expensive and complicated to run, hence why it's only done once every 10 years. Smaller reports will be a sample, so it's quite a small group potentially of people being asked questions like how old they are, how much money they earn and stuff like that. So that's just an example of a real life report. So as a business, you might be using a published report. You might find a key stat which is useful to you and apply it for your business. Maybe for some reason, there is a unusually high amount of toddlers in the population. So as a business person, you might be thinking, ka I can set up loads of nurseries and make money from the toddlers needing somewhere to go for early years school. It's worth saying that reports like this are an example of secondary research, right? You did not create the report you were just using it and so it wasn't you that made it you're just using the data from someone else's work and usually that's for purpose right for government are publishing reports for people to use let's evaluate it though because we could talk about it being secondary research we'll come on to that um, next but what is good about these reports is that usually if the charity or department have done their job in a good good way it will be presented in quite an easy to interpret format a report is rarely just raw data. Usually they've put it into graphs and have explained it and so on. Usually it's fairly easily um, interpreted, which is useful. And likewise, they've usually done some analysis, some processing for you. So we know that data is unprocessed information. They haven't just given you the data, they have done some processing, some analysis on it already. I mean, that includes putting it into graphs and so on. So they've done some hard work for you, which is useful. However, the whole point of a statistic, maybe with the exception of a, a census, is that they're coming from a sample of people. So a smaller group of people than would be the total available population. So it may not be totally reflective of reality. Maybe the sample is not particularly diverse. Maybe it's unreliable. So you've got to be a little bit careful with using stats, which especially may be from quite a small sample. Also, because the report was published often for a slightly different purpose to your one, the stats contained within might not be totally relevant to your problem. You might be trying to struggle to use some of the statistics because they're not really designed to be used for your exact same purpose. So that could be an issue as well because it's not, you didn't do it, it's secondary research. They weren't doing it with you in mind. It means it's not always totally related.